young and chained. We were hoover-nosed fiends, pushing elbows as I watched your eyes roll back, laughing as your stomach buckled, as you lay in bed, swearing the walls were against you. I took you to the dealer by the thumb, got a gram to share as if we were eating pizza. You didn't have any money. You said you didn't have any money. So I turned up in your bed, ate hummus, and the guy you told me, and you told me about the guy you'd met, a circus performer. Something about the way he hung in the air and thought you take away, set you alight. The way he teaches me to flip, the way he buys me dinner, the way his long hair curls in bohemian decadence. You couldn't get enough. Neither of us knew he would be the last boy you would tell me about. When you lost your freedom, I went to your house to save your grandmother's sewing machine. There was tinfoil and some kind of epiphany written on the wall. Maybe we were younger than we thought, when we ran with our backs to the day, throwing cash to satisfy the itching boredom in our limbs. We woke up running, and you were never afraid to jump over fences, bully boys in toilets, or steal from those you love. Now you're not going anywhere. Look to the sky. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? There was another message on the wall. It said, your tits are hot. <laughs> and I didn't wash it off. But I did sew you a promise in my left breast. Okay. In memory of the incarcerated. Part one, prison love. Your story is blowing up. Clouds of pages billowing. Teenage drug race unarmed victim, cinematic suitcase. Headlines swirling like dead leaves, except there is no reporter for your wasted love of free running across borders. Was the thought of death too tedious for the nothing of your day? I understand the day is cement. I understand the majority of days are cement. And as me and everyone but you does something useful, you paint the ceiling, sketch fire exits, then chain yourself in. I understand there is a rusting key in a fictional book, but your reality is stinking breath, no money for socks. Do you not want to hear my voice? I will say anything you want. The sun is screaming for you as winds hold you close. The stars are winking sluts for you. Tell me about the white slit of morning. Tell me about the bars rocking you to sleep. Part two, you wanted it all. I get it now. There are many ways of coming close to heaven and I'm listening. But outside, the angel is doing a striptease. What do you mean heaven is a material thing? You don't answer because there are many answers and there are many ways of explaining the puffy-eyed bliss of leaning back on a stinking sofa with nothing but a pipe in your hand. That bliss is quantifiable in terms of dosage, monetary dosage. But what of the day <coughs> you walked on streets paved with heaven sent, starstruck by the light on red brick, iron railings, concrete gold? The light imagined when passing from life to death, that brilliant white, clean plastic white, that glitters and winks, flirting with your lonely eyes. The day you stopped, Overcome with the desire to pause the blue house adorned with a red-stemmed vine that looked like a beautiful woman smiling at you. You did nothing to preserve the calm you felt, did you? <laughs> <laughs>